Hey guys, Akpobbed here, back with another video. This is going to be quite a different video to what I usually do. A bit of Weekend League Foot Champs gameplay, um, building in a 53 year old striker into my team. To link him, I've got Minamino because he was the only kind of Japanese player I had in my club at the moment. But really, the man himself is who you need to focus on for this video Kazuyoshi Mura. As you can see there, his date of birth, 1967. He is 53 years old with four star weak foot, low, low work rates, and I got him 550 coins off the market with a finisher cam style on him. Um, doesn't help his 24 acceleration or his 26 sprint speed, but he's on six cam. He gets 77 composure. So we start off, we have a game against this guy with. You know, a, a relatively decent team. Neuer and goal, he really was the bane of my existence in this in this first game. You know, this was just getting to grips with Mura himself. Good save from Neuer there. And we do actually get the first goal of this game with Minamino. But really, this game was about me kind of trying to deal with having to play with a bronze striker on foot champs, especially one with such low dribbling and you know pace 25 pace really isn't great for the sort of defenses you play against in foot champs but we do kind of win this game comfortably without really needing to get into using Mura late penalty we get so you know to get him off the mark just to start with a good goal dinks it into the far corner a little Penenka into the corner and celebrating like a t-rex the only thing in this game which is actually older than him and we do get a sweat goal Mura gets his second and we start as we mean to go on two goals on his debut a 9.3 rating and this is what you're going to be seeing a lot of um, in this in this video a lot of man of the match performances a lot of <laughs> goal scoring performances this guy has Ramos and Joe Gomez at the back and as you can see here his passing isn't brilliant you know we we tried to make a good good little um good little pass there but minamino does actually score off a Mura assist there and we win another penalty so already with one assist in this game and in the 13th minute he gets the chance to step up and take a penalty and we're just going to go straight down the middle keeper dives early and there we go another t-rex celebration for you a nice little bit of build up too but Mura picks it up and Allison makes the comfortable save and unfortunately Alaba takes a straight red card for absolutely nothing here it's a standard tackle on the halfway line and we do sacrifice Kazu so he comes off as a sub and we go 4-0 up but we somehow bottle it um, winning extra time Mura gets one goal one assist with a 7.8 rating and we get our I think that's like the fourth win of the weekend um, but we try and focus a bit more now on actually using him. Um, you know, opened a few packs here, and I'll just let you you see see what I get. Really, nothing special. An inform Ebra, Isco, Odegaard, um, Guerrero. These were like 18 packs I saved up. But then we finally do actually get a decent pack in a second here. Busquets walks out, but the important ones here: Verratti, Sane, Ben Yedder. Sane and Ben Yedder are two incredible cards on this game. I mean, Ben Yedder obviously doesn't really fit in my team, um, but Sane does. I stuck Sane into the starting 11 and got Pogba in the next pack. So this kind of allowed me to put Minamino back onto full cam and bring Sane in. And the next guy, you know, again, just Joe Gomez with a shadow. Early chance to get an assist for Muro doesn't come through. And then he finally makes the assist here, playing it through to Bruno and gets a chance on his left and drills it into the top corner and does the T-Rex again. But really this, this game, you know, and the game's kind of around it are more about him getting some chances. You know, here look, cuts it back and finesses it into the top corner. This guy is an incredible finisher for a rare 59 rated bronze card or whatever he is. You know, he's, he's Swerving round the defence, a 9.7 rating with two goals, one assist and a key pass. But unfortunately some games just aren't cut out for him. This guy has Werner with a hunter on him for some reason. Um, what you'll see in a lot of these chance videos is, well me missing chances like that. 
but also just people put weird chemistry styles on their players. You know, players with 95 pace, they'll whack a hunter on, even if they have 70 shooting. This is just, I just find it so stupid. See, like this guy, Inyaki Williams, with a hunter, what's the point of putting a hunter on him? Early chance for Mura is saved, unfortunately. And then another big opportunity for him to get an assist, but the keeper moves and Rashford misses. But you know, you can't keep this guy out for too long. Drills it into the top corner, absolutely lasered it past the keeper to put us 2-1 up. And wins the header from a goal kick into Sane. And Sane, you can trust him, he goes through, keeper moves and he slots it past him. That is a great finish for a 4-1 win. And uh, we get into our silver three finally. This guy, Hunter on Ansu Fati for some reason. You know, what What on earth is the point of, of doing that? But Mura picks it up here, plays through Minamino. And, you know, I really wanted to stat pad here. So I just went with Minamino instead to get Mura the assist. Um, but he's not only a creator. Look at this 1-2 with Sane. And lasers it into the far corner. You know, this guy is unstoppable. Another great chance here, but with his left, he puts it wide, and on a one-on-one, -on -one, he misses. But the 8.5 rating, the win, and into the next game. Another guy with some great players here, but that's nothing for, for Mura with a great chance there. And we do actually lose. Unfortunately, that was a really difficult game. The guy was a great player, and we didn't get anything out of it. But we go into the next game, and this, this is going to be a... A Mura masterclass here, you know, back post putting it in off a Minamino assist, playing through Sane, getting an assist here. So he's got a golden assist within the first 17. Sane picks it up, plays it across, and Mura puts it in at the back post. An 8.4 rating here, and we got a rage quit there for seven wins for the weekend. And next opponent, for some reason, has a random Tom Davies and Kenny or whatever in, in his team. and. I don't really know what that was about. Mura picks it up on a one on one and misses, turns the defender, misses again, and right on at the death, shrugs off Marquinhos and puts it wide. A 7.2 rating without a goal and assist is quite a good performance, but we do get into Silver 2 and head into a game against a guy who this is the most frustrating game you're ever going to watch. Um, we miss a few good chances here and he, he could have put in that rebound. The guy gets an Mbappe shot in the second half and he wins with one shot on target against my 10 shots and seven on target. And this was where I was kind of questioning whether, you know, is it the right choice to try and use a bronze striker in foot champs? But an early penalty is put away by Mura and this is gonna be the game where he comes into his own has a great opportunity here, blocked well by the defender, and turns the centre back here and puts it wide. But Mura scores off of a cutback and picks it up on the edge of the box, dribbles past his defender. We're just firing in shots from every angle here. He's just getting on the ball wherever he wants. And there's his hat trick. We get a hat trick and a 10 rating with one key pass as well. Don't even look at those eight shots that he had because those aren't relevant. We head into his 12th game off the back of a hat-trick. This guy's team is all right. You know, Sane plays through Mura and he makes no mistake. You're never gonna have a mistake from there. Turns the defender here, silky dribbling. Sane cuts in and puts it in. That's another assist for Mura. And an interception lets him run through on goal. Absolutely sprints past his defense with his 25 pace and makes no mistake getting his second of the game. This guy is so fast with his 25 pace. Sane intercepts to Minamino, runs on at the back post, another hat trick for Mura. A couple late chances foiled, but this guy gets his assist with Minamino. Three goals, two assists, one key pass for a 59 rated 53 year old. And, you know, I, it was at this point where I was like, you know, I might actually make this my my weekly occurrence putting this random 53 year old in my team he does have a lot of chances this game which the keeper just saves everything a nice little keepy uppy here is put wide unfortunately and i don't know how the keeper saves this one but you know you can 
you can save every chance you want. But in the end, this guy is going to score, spins his defender, Renan Lodi, and puts it in. You know, there's there's just nothing that this guy can't do. Only one goal for this game, but he does pick up an 8.5. And we head into silver one. We only need three more wins to get this. And we head into this game against a guy with five one to watches, an inform, a few good cards. Mura is blocked early on, but look at this finish. No mistake there, and he intercepts a goalkeeper pass back to make it 2-0, and you think that's the win. Then the game kicks me, and for some reason puts my match result under review and doesn't give me the win. It wasn't a disconnect, but I didn't even get the win there. So we have to go into another game where really he had an awful performance, a 5.9. We did win 5-2, but zero goals, zero assists. Two games off of gold three. This guy's team, standard Serie A team, a few hunters in there. And early on, picks up the ball, plays through Cancelo, who's in the box, past the keeper, and manages to squeeze it past Koulibaly on the line. But a couple late shots, a couple shots that just go ridiculously wide, and that was it for his goal involvement in that game. A 6.7 with obviously one key pass, one assist. But we do pick up a 2-1 win, and we are one game off of gold three. This is going to be a, a hard game, I think, with with this guy playing some random random players in there with no cam styles. But Mura picks it up and drills it near post in the 18th minute. 48 minutes on the clock. Rashford back post for Mura for the volley, and that is it. That is gold three secured with. A 10 rating, another man of the match performance, two goals with his back post volley and yeah, I've been carried to gold three by a 53 year old guy with 23 pace. So really, I'm not sure what to say about this video. I thought this would be something fun to do and something where I could kind of play and not exactly have a brilliant record but it would give me some easy games towards the end. I finished I think 14 for 5 this week. so. I don't know how I managed to get my usual record but with this random bronze guy in the team. 17 games, 20 goals, 8 assists, a few yellow cards here and there. But honestly, I actually really enjoyed being able to use this guy. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to drop a like, a comment, subscribe if you're new. Turn on the notifications because I only post here and there. But you don't want to miss them when I do. And uh, yeah, just please leave a comment and let me know what you thought. See ya.